Today, we're going to talk about how to use transitions in Camtasia. When TechSmith released Camtasia 2021, they added over 75 new transitions, which means we now have over 100 transitions to choose from. During this video, I will share the transition tip that was given to me that completely changed the way I edit my videos. Open your Camtasia project and scroll down to transitions on the left hand navigation menu. Here you will see all of the different transitions that are available. Transitions can easily be overused, especially the more dramatic ones. They can add visual interest, but they can also become distracting if used too often. At the top of the transition window, you will see this drop down box that allows you to filter through the different categories of transitions. So for example, I am going to select 3D and it narrows it down to just these few options. If you drag your mouse across one of the transitions, you will get a preview of what the transition will look like. This is a nice feature, but sometimes I need to see the transition full screen in order to truly understand what it's going to look like in my video. So I think I might want to try out this doorway transition. So all I have to do is select it and drag and drop it down to the timeline. Notice that you have the two green bars that cover the different pieces of media. This is your visual indication of where the transition is and how long it will take to play it. If you would like the transition to take a little bit longer, you can grab the handle and change the duration of the transition. To check out the transition, I'm going to slowly drag the playhead across the transition area. I'm not sure if this is exactly right for this instance in my video, so I'm going to go back and play it at full speed. That one's not quite right in this particular instance, so I can select it and click delete to remove it from the timeline. One tip that I will share with you is that I pick transitions and then use them consistently across multiple videos so that the audience begins to understand what each transition indicates. So for example, in my software tutorials, I use the cube rotate to indicate that I'm switching from a desktop application to a web application or one piece of software to another piece of software. Now, one of my favorite transitions happens to be a fade. It's a nice subtle transition to use, especially when I'm covering a jump cut, like when I take out a long loading screen. I was given a tip about using the fade transition they completely changed the way that I edit my videos in Camtasia. And that is transitions aren't just for going from one scene to another. You can use them on annotations and other things within your video. So for example, I have dragged and dropped this arrow onto the screen. When you watch the video, the arrow pops in abruptly. It stays on the screen and then it's going to go out abruptly to make a smoother transition when you're adding annotations to the screen, you can actually put the fade transition on the annotation as well. So now if we look at that arrow again, it fades in, points to my staff meeting, and fades out. Now that you know a little bit more about using transitions in Camtasia, go play with it in your videos and drop me a comment and let me know which one is your favorite. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.